Guys, it looks like the cost of things at the store will go up next month. Normal stuff you buy for your house is getting pricier. In fact, they might end up being 50% more expensive than they were last summer. There are several reasons why the price of food is going up. This includes harsh weather like dry spells and big floods. The U.S. has seen a lot of this rough weather lately, and this will soon lead to bigger grocery bills next month. So, to help you shop smart at the grocery store, we've made a list of 10 food items to buy and keep ready for possible food shortages in the future. Number 1. Olive Oil Unpredictable weather patterns and diseases affecting olive trees have resulted in lower olive yields worldwide, especially in Mediterranean countries. Rising labor costs and transportation expenses have also contributed to price hikes. The International Olive Council expects a 15-20% to 20 increase in olive oil prices over the next year, impacting a wide range of Mediterranean dishes. Olive oil is a crucial part of the Mediterranean diet and is renowned for its nutritional benefits, which include monounsaturated fats that help reduce levels of bad cholesterol and increase good cholesterol. It also contains vitamin E and potent antioxidants beneficial for heart and brain health. Given its potential price increase and its shelf life of up to two years when stored properly, it's wise to stock up on several liters per person for long-term survival. You can use olive oil in a variety of dishes such as pasta, salads for frying, or as a dip for bread. Number 2. Potatoes. Due to erratic weather patterns and pest infestations, potato yields have seen a decrease, leading to an increase in prices. Transportation costs and labor shortages are adding to the price hike. The National Potato Council predicts a 10-15% increase in potato prices over the next year, affecting a wide variety of potato-based products and dishes. Potatoes prove vitamin C, vitamin B6, potassium, and fiber. They can form the basis of many meals, are easy to cook, and can be stored for several months in a cool, dark, well-ventilated place. Depending on consumption, storing about 35, 40 pounds of potatoes per person should last several months. Meals including potatoes can range from simple baked potatoes or mashed potatoes to more complex dishes like potato gratin, potato soup, or potato salad. Number 3. Soybeans Weather issues in major soybean-producing regions have led to reduced yields. While increased demand for soy-based products and biofuel applications are driving up prices, the American Soybean Association predicts a 15-20% increase in soybean prices over the next year, affecting soy products like tofu, soy milk, and animal feeds. Soybeans are a valuable source of protein, especially for those following a plant-based diet. They provide all essential amino acids, along with fiber, vitamins, minerals, and beneficial plant compounds. Soybeans can be used to make a variety of products, including tofu, soy milk, and tempeh. Due to their high protein content, it would be beneficial to store about 10 pounds of soybeans per person for long-term use, considering a consumption rate of around one half cup per day. They can be used in a multitude of dishes like stir-fry, stews, or even baked goods. Number 4. Peanuts Climate change, disease, and higher costs for fertilizers and labor have led to a decrease in global peanut production, pushing up prices. Increased demand for peanuts in snack food production has added to the pressure. The American Peanut Council expects a 10-15% increase in peanut prices over the next year, affecting peanut butter, trail mix, and other peanut-based products. Peanuts are a good source of healthy fats, protein, and fiber. They also provide significant amounts of vitamins and minerals such as magnesium and vitamin E. Peanut butter, which can last for up to a year unopened, is a great item to stockpile. Consider having about 10-15 jars of peanut butter per person for long-term survival. It can be used for sandwiches, added to smoothies, or as a protein-rich addition to oatmeal and other grains. Number 5. Oranges Diseases such as citrus greening and unpredictable weather patterns have greatly reduced global orange production, leading to increased prices. Higher labor and transportation costs are also contributing. The Citrus World Association estimates a 10-15% increase in orange prices, impacting everything from fresh oranges to orange juice. Oranges are an excellent source of vitamin C and dietary fiber, and also provide potassium and other essential nutrients. Fresh oranges can last for a few weeks when stored in a cool, dark place, but canned or bottled orange juice, with no added sugar, can last for up to two years unopened. It would be beneficial to stock about 40, 60 liters of orange juice per person for long-term survival. You can use oranges or orange juice in smoothies, salads, baked goods, sauces, 
or simply consume them fresh for a healthy, vitamin-rich snack. Number 6. Honey Due to the decreasing population of honeybees, there has been a reduction in global honey production. Along with the high demand for this natural sweetener, these factors are leading to an increase in honey prices. The American Honey Producers Association anticipates a 15 to 20 percent price increase over the next year. Honey is a natural sweetener that can be used in a variety of dishes and drinks. It is a rich source of antioxidants and has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. Moreover, honey has a long shelf life, making it an excellent candidate for long-term storage. Considering its rising prices, it might be a good idea to stock up on this versatile ingredient. For long-term survival, it's recommended to have about 5 pounds of honey per person per year, as it can also serve as a potent energy source. Honey can be used to sweeten drinks, in baking, cooking, or in natural remedies. Number 7. Canned Tuna Increased fishing costs, labor shortages, and higher fuel prices are contributing to a surge in canned tuna prices. Global demand for this convenient protein source remains high, adding to price pressure. The International Seafood Sustainability Foundation predicts a 10-15% increase in canned tuna prices over the next year. Canned tuna is an excellent source of lean protein, rich in omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin D, and selenium. It's versatile and has a long shelf life, which makes it a staple in emergency food storage. Given its increasing price, stocking up on canned tuna could be a prudent move. For long-term survival, consider stocking up around 25 cans of tuna per person per year, assuming one can per week. Tuna can be used in salads, sandwiches, pasta dishes, and more. Number 8. Beef. Reduced herd sizes due to disease, higher feed costs, labor shortages, and increased transportation costs are all contributing to the anticipated rise in beef prices. The National Cattlemen's Beef Association expects beef prices to increase by 15-20% over the next year. Beef is a major source of protein. Vitamins B12 and B6, selenium, zinc, iron, and phosphorus. It is widely used in various recipes, from burgers to stews. Given the expected price increase, consider buying in bulk and freezing for future use. For long-term survival, you might want to have about 100 pounds of beef per person per year, assuming a moderate meat consumption. Freeze it in usable portions, or consider canned beef for longer storage. Number 9. Berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. Unfavorable weather conditions, pests, and disease are impacting berry crops globally. In addition to this, labor shortages and increased transportation costs are driving up prices. The International Berry Growers Association expects a 10 to 15 percent price increase over the next year. Berries are packed with vitamins, fiber, and antioxidants, and can be used in a variety of dishes. They can be frozen without losing much of their nutritional content, making them a good option for stockpiling before prices rise. For long-term survival, consider stocking up about 60 pounds of frozen berries per person per year, assuming a daily serving. They can be used in smoothies, baking, jams, or as a topping for cereal and desserts. Number 10. Bread Due to the rising cost of wheat and increased labor and transportation costs, the price of bread is set to increase. The Grain Foods Foundation predicts a 10-15% price increase in the coming year. As bread is a staple food in many diets, this price rise could have a significant impact on households. Bread, especially whole grain or enriched varieties, provides a good source of carbohydrates, fiber, and various essential vitamins and minerals. It's a staple in most diets and can be frozen to extend its shelf life. Given the rising cost, it would be wise to stock up now. For long-term survival, consider having about 200 loaves per person per year, assuming a daily consumption of about half a loaf. Bread can be used for sandwiches, toast, and as a side for many meals. If storage is a concern, consider stocking flour and yeast to bake your own bread. Thank you for watching.